like 30 some degrees and my friend told me it's supposed to snow Friday so I'm not really about that so I'm hoping it doesn't I'm hoping like Lubbock warms up or some shit happens and it doesn't snow but uh if it does then fuck also I got a little story and like some information I'd like to tell y'all and talk about so in the last video I said that I was going with my friend to go look at a bike and he might get it and blah 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 so he did end up getting it and I was gonna make a vlog riding with him it was a CBR 1000 it was dope it was all black I had some mods to it but uh he got an accident and he's okay he sprained his hand like nothing serious but uh you know I let him borrow my spare helmet and he was like thanks man for letting me borrow that spare to save my life because he landed on his head apparently and like he's like cracked the helmet <clears throat> but uh I'm glad he's safe like it just the weird tire of his bike slid out from under him he was coming out of a turn and uh it's a really sensitive bike and uh he had just got it so he wasn't used to everything yet on the bike and it's really fast and strong so he must have pulled the throttle back a little bit and it must have just shot out from under him and like you know just left him lying there but uh that's what i want to talk about today since like if any of y'all ever think about getting bikes like what to get and i should have talked to him more about it like i don't know i feel like i wasn't a good friend like I understood he wanted a bike, and I'm not going to tell him, you know, hey, don't get that bike, you know, blah, 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 it's too big, blah, blah, but, because, I mean, he's a good rider, he's a great rider, don't get me wrong, but, like, any person who hasn't rode or, like, ridden a bike in a while or at all shouldn't get a bike that big, and, I mean, I get it, he was excited to get a bike, I would have been the same way, I mean, but, uh, if y'all are, like, start now getting a bike and y'all want to know what to get don't get something that big because i know like it might be tempting to get something that big or like it may be on like you know craigslist and it may be like a cheaper option than like some brand new or just some, maybe some of the other options on craigslist i don't know but uh go for something like between the range of 500 and lower for your first bike. That's what I suggest for all new riders. Like I got a, my, this is my first bike. It's 400 cc. It's not slow, it's not fast. It's the perfect mid range for a beginner. You know, I can go fast on this bike or I can take it easy. Either way, it's got great handling, it's light. You know, I'm, I'm like, get used to riding, you know, everything like that. So it's not something crazy. And then once you get used to riding and you want to move up, you can go to something like a 650 or like maybe a 750, you know, some, somewhere around those ranges. And then, you know, once you're an advanced rider, you can go up to a thousands. That's my personal opinion though, you know, some people might want to start on a 650 and they might be fine, you know. You can, you can start on whatever you want, you could be fine. I'm just saying, from my personal experience and opinion, Start from a lower CC bike, even if you just, you know, you don't want a lower CC bike and you want to be big and bad, you know, you want to be over here like revving your shit up, looking like the nigga, <laughs> you know, you're like, like, I got my shit, you know, I got the fastest motherfucking bike, you know, yeah, cool. But, you know, you got to be safe still and like, you got to learn what you're doing and shit like that. It's just my personal opinion. I was just thinking about it today since, you know, all this has happened with his new bike and I feel terrible I feel terrible because he had spent so long saving up for a bike and uh he only got to ride it today, like for one day with me we rode it for three hours and then I the next day that happened so I just feel terrible you know it's his first bike and it already happened it's just I feel terrible like I feel bad you know it's a terrible thing to happen especially like you lose your bike and everything but yeah, that's just what I was thinking about when I was talking about it, like, just that you need to start, like, if you get a bike, just start with a lower CC bike, you know, it's, there's nothing wrong with it, there's nothing wrong with a 400, a 300, 250 even, like, anything, just start with a lower CC bike, learn, like, 
how to ride and everything, you know, get the hang of it, and then you'll you'll be fine. But that was what I want to talk about real quick. Uh, I'm going to my girl, so I'll start the video right here, and I'll cut it to uh, when I'm back riding. Alright, I'm back. So like I said, oh my god. Smaller CC bike, it's just, that's better for a starter, you know. Anything from lower than, I say, the 500 range, I feel like is a good start bike, you know. Anything from 400 and lower is a good start bike. Intermediate bikes, I say 500 to like 700 in advance, you know, blah, 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 just keep going up. That's, that's just my opinion, so. That's just what I personally think. But uh, right now, <clears throat> I'm going to uh, see my friend. He's taking off. He's going to the Air Force. Uh, I hung out with him yesterday and his family. And I'm going up there right now to uh, just see him take the shuttle to uh, Amarillo. And then he's going to go off from there. So I'm just gonna say my goodbyes, you know, see his family, say, you know, hey, and see him off. He won't be back for, uh, uh, I don't know, I think he'll, they'll see him probably when he graduates from basics or whatever. I won't see him probably for another eight months, if I do. So it's gonna be a while, but uh, I hope he has a great time doing, you know, Air Force. Oh, suddenly just got sunny. That's great. Awesome. But I uh, hope he enjoys it. But yeah, now I won't see him for like eight months. I'll be 19 when he comes back. So that's crazy. My time flies and shit like that. Yeah, we had a little party for him yesterday and uh, he's just leaving today. So we're just all gathering to see him leave, I guess. Okay, I'm done being behind this car. It's turning and shit. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Yeah, but I was actually talking to my dad about uh, that a few days ago, about like starter bikes and stuff like that. And he agrees the next bike I should get should be a 650. And that's probably what I'll stay with for a while if like if I ever, if it like, you know, forever after that. I don't know. I may not even go bigger than a 650. Because I just, I don't think I need anything more than a 650. I feel like a 650 is a good range. You know, you can still keep up with like the bigger bikes and uh, you can still like, get a good sounding like exhaust and everything it just it's still like a dope bike at 600 it's still fast as hell and shit like that like every bike is fast but like 600 is like fast as fuck oh god this guy's about to god he just came out on that person dumbass all right let's see all right and as a beginner rider starting out in Lubbock <laughs> You get a lot of fucking experience real quick. I'll tell you that. It's just about like fucking other drivers. Cause I mean, Lubbock is the worst with drivers. It is the worst. So I've already learned a lot of uh, just other, like just avoiding like other cars and just people in general, like learning how they drive just based off of living here. So <laughs> another thing for a beginner, based on where you live, you know, how quick your experience might come. Not that I'm like really experienced, but uh, that I just know like I felt I just I'm more in tune like with shitty drivers. I know how to avoid them and like I can tell which ones are about to do some stupid shit. And most bikers can just because like they like took a class so they just know their shit. I'm just sitting here swaying, swaying my bike because fuck it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go see them and his family so I'll probably cut the video right here leave a like comment subscribe let me know how y'all liking the videos I love making them uh, I'm still trying to get that outro I know it's been a while but uh, I'm still trying to do that it's been just it's, I've just been busy shit has been like hectic Christmas coming up you know but uh yeah I'll see y'all in the next one Deuces.